welcome back to Why in the Morning. And if it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me. Across all my social in this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at uh, different ways we can learn through trivia questions. And the trivia in this particular uh, situation where we have numerous questions, it's and uh, <laughs> quiz masters, all right? So uh, it's, a, uh, it's a blend of uh, education and, it, and entertainment uh, form of learning, simple, through asking questions. So in studio, I am joined by David Gray, a cool name, by the way. <laughs> He's the CEO of Quiz Masters Creatives. Hello there, Gray. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Very well. All right. Welcome to Y254 channel. Asante. Entrepreneurship Tuesday. <laughs> so for someone who's watching this, and I've already mentioned Quizmaster. Yes. Who's a Quizmaster? A Quizmaster is a fancy way of saying a teacher. Okay. Yes, because um, being a Quizmaster is all about asking questions. Okay. And if you think about it, Michelle, mm -hmm. since you were born, all of us, since we were born, Right. We have been asked, we have either asked questions or we have been asked questions and that is how you actually get to learn. Oh, very true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as quiz masters, we now take that element of asking questions and now making it into a business because we have an opportunity whereby people can be able to learn and also get entertained using questions. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Before you ventured into the trivia industry, yes. uh, what was David uh, doing prior to this? Before venturing into trivia, mm -hmm. I cannot remember my life without trivia because okay. it, has, it started way back when I was in primary school. Okay, yes, that is, is interesting. Yes, that is where it all began, the journey began. And I took part in a quiz show when I was in Standard 7, okay. and it was aired in, on KBC. Mm -hmm. It was called the Blue Band Quiz Show, okay. and it was featuring primary schools, teams competing against each other, right? Mm -hmm. So that is when I fell in love with Matters Trivia, because mm -hmm. it was all about asking questions on Matters general knowledge, on things that you do not get to learn while you're in class. Mm -hmm which are not in the curriculum. And it's basically just meant to spur curiosity amongst the people who are competing against each other, okay. all right? However, moving forward, I also took part in another show, which was now pitting universities teams across Africa. And again, it was a very good opportunity for me to meet people from across Africa from different universities and again just take part in a mind sparring session and find out which was the best team and that was like around 10 years ago okay. and after that after a short stint in employment just after university I decided to just make this a full-time business okay. yes all right the trivia industry yes. has not picked up uh, in Kenya compared yes. to other countries like India UK yes uh, how, did you, how was it for you penetrating the market, considering it's a business now? Yes. Yes. So in terms of penetrating, trivia has always been there in one form or the other, okay. in forms of um, various shows on TV, from the likes of uh, Omo Pika Box, which was aired way back. It was, it was also a form of a trivia show. Mm -hmm. When we came back to Blue Band Quiz Show, which was featuring primary school children, mm -hmm. then we have who wants to be a millionaire, which was featuring people who are adults. Moving forward to Who's Smarter Now, mm -hmm. we have Zen Africa Challenge, and we have the quiz show right now. So okay. quizzes have always been there in one form or the other, but in terms of making it a business, there's lack of that uptake because perhaps the knowledge of that, that possibility is not there. And I think that is now where the opportunity lies for everyone who is watching right now. Okay. Mm. Uh, what I'm getting is the fact that uh, the trivia industry has been there yes. for way back. 
mm. also the, when we want to g actually do giveaways to our viewers probably in December holiday season mm. we ask particular questions exactly now let's look at you changing uh, uh, the whole uh, aspect of it as a business yes. how are you making money out of this so how we make money out of uh, quizzes eh, mm -hmm. is when two ways okay. when a corporate company approaches us to educate the masses on their products and again we shall we do them we do that using questions either whether it is physically or online right now since mm -hmm. now we are now getting into online and in another way we also use quizzes during team building sessions whereby teams come together they form teams and they compete against each other all right so we always get hired by companies to help them to curate quizzes on their behalf Okay. That is how we make our money. All right. Yes. Um, from what you've said, it's clear that your target market is quite broad. Yes. And let's break it down. If I want to be a quiz master, yes. What is the process? What are the rec what do you look at and be like that one can actually be a, you know like a pro in this? That one be like that you're called out to be a quiz master. Uh, what is the process like? What does it take? It is very simple to be a quiz master. Mm -hmm. You just need to have the passion for sharing knowledge yes sharing knowledge so even if you are in any other profession if you have that passion to just go out there and share what you know mm -hmm. that is enough to make your quiz master i am a trained teacher and that is really helped in terms of um, being a quiz master because i literally just moved my teaching process from the classroom to now outside the classroom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you also need to be very curious and knowledgeable. Okay. And most importantly, well-spoken because you need to also ask questions very coherently. All right, yeah. and you, we're going to actually see a, a live <laughs> yes. procedure of that. Yes. So uh, let uh, allow me to take you back. Yes. You have a background in teaching, right? Yes. And uh, how long has uh, the quiz master's creatives uh, been, there, been there for? So, in terms of being there as an entity... Yes, we, as an entity. Yes, as an entity. Uh -huh. We have been there for the last eight years. Eight years, okay. Yes. However, since I told you that uh, I had a stint in employment, yes. so doing it as a full-time business mm -hmm. for, for the last three years. Okay. Yes. Three years. Yes. Now you're in need full-time. It's a, it's a business. Yes. You moved from uh, formal employment whereby you are assured of, you know, at the end of the month, yes. you get your income to mm. you risking it all for this particular industry. Yes. What gave you that confidence and what did you see in this, uh, in the market gap that you decided, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm going to go all in mm. full time. Mm. Yeah. As you rightly put it, there is that opportunity yes. whereby um, the potential customer base is literally from the youngins to the adults. So literally we can have quizzes for schools, for primary schools, for high schools, for universities, for corporate companies, and for the masses. We also organize quiz nights. And quiz nights is whereby people come together when you're going out, let's say, with friends. Instead of just going out and just sharing banter and having a drink of your choice, what you can do is you can go to a place whereby there's a quiz night, which is organized by quiz masters, to learn something new while you are enjoying yourselves with the company of your friends. So people come together and they compete against each other, then a corporate sponsor comes in and sponsors the prize for okay. the winning team. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So that is how there's that entertainment element of being a quiz master. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Okay. That makes me question yes. <laughs> the different packages that the company offers apart from the the night the, the night trivials. Yeah? Yes. Um, what are different packages that services that the company offers? Because the target market is quite broad. Yes. So in terms of different packages I've just mentioned, we literally do anything pertaining to quizzes. So literally when we have a company or an individual or an institution which wants us to curate 
questions for them, mm -hmm. we come in on board and do exactly that, whereby we can have a custom-made quiz, which mm -hmm. is now custom-made for a particular company or to a particular institution with specific questions relating to them, or just having pure general knowledge questions, which now has, a, again, a very broad aspect because we have from current affairs, we have history, we have geography, we have logos, okay. we have movies, music. You can ask uh, anything under the sun. All right. All and right. the beauty about this is knowledge is churned out every single day. Mm. Information is churned out every single day. And that provides enough content for us to ask questions. All right. Yes, that's so mm. true. Hold that thought, David. We'll be right back and get to know more about uh, uh, the tri the trivia industry yes. and all about the quiz master. So make sure you don't touch that down. We'll be right back. We're going for a commercial break. All right, welcome back to Intervision Tuesday uh, on Wire in the Morning. We are talking about the, Trevor, uh, the trivia industry, quiz masters, and uh, we have a quiz master on board, David Gray. And uh, he, was taking us, uh, he was taking us through the whole... Uh, uh, trivia question and how it, yeah, you know, it goes down. So right now, David will be telling us what uh, uh, the whole live session uh, entails and uh, how we can go about it. All right. Yes. So if you're watching at home, <laughs> you have the opportunity today yes. to take part in a live trivia session. And if you can see your screen, we have a code. What you need to do is if you have a phone, you can take part in this quiz from wherever you are. All right, you can take part in, in, in this quiz and you need to do is go to your web browser and type in www.kahoot.it that is k-a-h-o-o-t dot i-t then once you do that you'll input the code which is 9981940 then you'll be able to see yourself choose your nickname your desired nickname keep it creative and once you do that, you'll be able to see yourself logged in on the screen and we shall take part in a six question live trivia session. I hope um, Michelle will give us a, a prize yeah, okay. <laughs> for the winner. <laughs> All right. However, yes, now get on with it. If you're watching at home, you can do that. Kahoot.it, then the code is 9981940. And I can see we have Three people who have joined in, well done. Yeah, we, have we have Deadborn, we have Double A, and we have Blackbird. Yes. yes. And as we move on, we shall start in the next few minutes. Yes, so it's as simple as that. You yes. don't need, uh, there's no subscri subscription fee, it's just your data. And yes. You're good to go. Yes. All right. So if there's no any subscription fee from uh, the guys who are joining in uh, and participating and enjoying uh, the, the trivia questions and just engaging, entertaining, educational at, at the same time, mm. how are you guys making money on a platform like this? So when we use such a platform, mm -hmm. what normally happens is um, we use this platform when we have a client who needs to have a uh, session run for them, mm -hmm. then they're the ones who end up paying for the people who are participating. However, we have scenarios whereby participants also get a chance to pay okay. for participating in such a trivia session. And this normally happens when we are having physical quizzes whereby people come in and they pay a small fee, which is now will which will either come um, go to pay us or will form part of uh, of the what of the prize money mm -hmm. that will be offered okay. to the winners. All right. Yes. So more guys are actually uh, logging in. Yes. We have Keep Savior and Jazz. So guys, make sure you continue. So you head on to www.kahoot. Dot it. Dot it. From your phone or laptop. Okay. Yes. The comfort of where you are. Exactly. As long as you have data. Exactly. No subscription fee. Exactly. <laughs> so from there, then uh, you'll take us to what's the next step, right? Yes. Should we take over or we wait a little bit longer? Yes, let's wait for a little bit longer. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm. So, um, David, right? So looking back for these particular three years yes. that you've been into full time in your own business, mm. right? What are a couple of uh, highlights that you look back and be like, ah, 
I don't regret it. I don't regret leaving employment mm. to getting into self-employment. Mm. Yeah. My highlights is really holding events. I have a passion for holding events. I've mm -hmm. been uh, doing that for quite a number of years. And I enjoy bringing people together, right? And I believe that by holding such events, it's very easy to get to meet people and the movers and shakers in, in, in this country. Something else is building something for the future. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about employment, it is equally as good. However, since I've talked about the fact that this has been a passion for quite a number of years, building it from scratch has been quite the journey. Okay. And another highlight, All right which may sound very skewed, is COVID. Yes, because COVID mm. presented a totally fresh opportunity to take quiz masters into another line of operation, now doing quizzes online. Yes, yes because previously we were doing it physically, that is pre-COVID, but now during COVID and now post, we are definitely focusing on taking quizzes online from Kenya to the world. The trivia industry actually is one of the businesses that did well during the recession period in the country. Yes, yes. I definitely would concur with that. And this is actually from ac and across the world. Across the world. You've talked about the fact that uh, in the UK, in India, in America, this industry is a thriving industry. Mm -hmm. And in this case, in Kenya, it has also been a beautiful opportunity for us to create something new. Right. Yes. Earlier on, you mentioned that it was quite uh, some. It was. It was. It wasn't easy yes. uh, when starting up this business, mm. and uh, the fact that COVID uh, played a part. Mm. But I would like to find out what were the major ways, like you organized your business, so that they, uh, it could, you know, it could be effective into the market and uh, just to reach out to your target masses. Um, the beautiful thing is. We were very present pre-COVID and we had the opportunity to take it online. Okay. And since we also have a very a rich social media following, it was a very awesome opportunity for us to literally create something new. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So, okay, so far, how many guys have... We uh, have seven been? people who have joined in from right. wherever they are. Mm -hmm. Perhaps if you're having any kind of difficulty in joining in, you can, again, use your phone, mm -hmm. kahoot.it. Then the game pin is 9981940. And I will propose that we begin now. Okay. Just because we can. Yes, right. and I think we have, as the numbers continue to increase. Yes. So far we are at uh, nine. Yes. Nine guys have joined in. So, yes. yeah. So this will be a general knowledge question and answer session. And okay. you'll be answering from your mobile phone. Right. And this questions will be showing on screen. Right. So. We're starting how, in the how next. How do you know the, the, the answer, the, the person who gave the right answer? You will see from the platform, okay. just soon enough, <laughs> right? So if you are ready from wherever you are, we are starting the next five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do this, my friends. All right. So general knowledge round, okay. starting now. Two, one. one. And the first question is, on a standard vertical traffic light, is the green on the top or the bottom? Is it red at the top, blue at the bottom, or orange at either position? So you have people answering. You can, you can see one answer has been keyed in yeah, so far. Yeah, we can see that, yeah. Yes. And then there's a timer. Yes, there's a timer. This is 44 seconds and counting. We had one minute to answer this particular question, mm -hmm. but I shall give you 30 seconds because this is a simple question and okay. I can see most of us have been able to answer so far. Already, so. Yes, so let's see the standings. And oof, oof. People do not know their traffic lights, my friend. Ah, the answer is at the bottom with no one <laughs> getting it correct. Ah. Yes, the traffic lights, red, orange, green. green. 
with no one getting it correct, let's see the standings. Standings is the same. Uh -huh. P Mwangi in first place from wherever you are. X1, X15. Uh -huh. Second place, Blackbird, Double A, and Deadborn. Next question is number two. We have. Mana Kumenya Chungwa, Ninini. We have in red. Mm -hmm. We have Kutoa Gandala Chungwa in red. We okay. have Kuona Chungwa in blue. We have Kujuana na Chungwa in orange or Kuma Chungwa in green. <laughs> Mana Kumenya, kumenya chungwa. chungwa. Exactly. Mm? Kumenya is to. Kutoa Maganda. Ah, sasa. Ushasema. Now people have gotten the clue and we have seven people Ama ni getting a chance chungwa. to answer. <laughs> Let us see. Kumenya Chungwa, we have 10 answers now. And if you are watching right now, you can still join in. Mm -hmm. Go to kahoot.it, then enter the game pane, which is 9981940. And I can see we have 11 players who have answered. And the answer is Kutoa Ganda La, La Chungwa, Chungwa, with five of you getting it correct. Well done from wherever you are. Yes, as okay. you said, Niku Pil Ma Chungwa. Oh, Pil. Uh, yeah. right. Exactly, exactly. So let's see. So we have Kid now in first place. Well done, Kid, from wherever you are. We have Small in second place, Jazz in third, Jeremy in fourth, it's and Sylvia. It's very thrilling, yeah? It's very thrilling. In fifth, yes. Okay. Now you're feeling it. In third question is number three. Where can you find the humerus? Again, this is very simple. We have in the upper arm in red, in, in a joke in blue, in the womb in orange, or humerus. in the lower arm in green. Humerus, tell us. <laughs> Would you, and we have one other kid in so far. Humerus. <laughs> humerus, yes. You are very humerus. Uh -huh. But again, where do you find the humerus? <laughs> Eight answers kid in so far. The humerus is in a joke. Ah, in a joke. <laughs> that is if I find if you find if me humerus. humerus. <laughs> yes. You'll find it in a joke. However, However. <laughs> where do you find the humerus? humerus? This is now in matters biology. Ah. So you see, this we have gone from upper. Kiswahili to biology. In the upper arm. Mm, in the upper arm. We have 13 answers kidding so far. And the answer is in the upper arm with six of you getting it correct. Well done. Okay. Yes, humerus is here. Mm. Standings are, let's see, we have now Jazz, Jazz is now over. in first place because he was faster in answering okay. or she was depending on who Jazz is. We have Savi in second place, Kid in third, Smalls in fourth and Blackbird, Blackbird in the top five. Next question is number four. Again, another question. Which side of a woman's blouse are the buttons <laughs> fitted? Interesting. <laughs> I can is actually it on check. on the right, on the left in orange, or blouses do not need buttons? Lol. <laughs> in blue. Which side of a woman's buttons, blouse are the buttons fitted? On the right, in red. We have on the left, in orange, or we have blue. Blouses don't need buttons. Who will key in blue? <laughs> and we have 12 answers kidding so far. Answers, okay. And let's see, we shall. And the answer is on the left. Are they on the left? Let's confirm. Uh, yes, they are. Well done. So, four of you getting it correct. Standings are, let's see, we have. Jazz, Jazz maintaining first place, Kid mm. in second place now, Edu Easy in third, Savior in fourth, yeah. and Smalls in the top five. Jazz is our highest climber, up three places. Awesome. Next question is, number five, type your answer. What is the first name of our host? Yes, type in your answer. Oh, okay. Yes, now, not you as a host. So, if you're watching at home, what is the first name of our host? Yes, let's see who can spell your name. Oh, I don't see that. Ashira. <laughs> because it is the first name we are, we are asking, yeah, not okay. the second name. All right, and we have seven answers kidding so far. I can see we have people who definitely know, yes, they should know who you are. Yes, yes, they should, though. yes, they, they should, see, see, see. even on your social handles as well. They should know as well, they should follow you Absolutely. as well. So, we have okay, let's see. We have Kahoot, Ashira, Michelle, Ashira, IDK, Ashira, Michelle is two of you getting it correct. Mm -hmm. Is that the spelling of your name? Yes, it is. Yes, so two of you getting it correct, the rest biting the dust. 
that standings are let's see now who knows we have blackbird from obscurity now in mm -hmm. first place jazz in second place kid, kid. in third edu easy in fourth and, and savior in the top five mm -hmm. and the last question is number six which number code can you sms y254 channel again type in your answers my friends yes to reach out to michelle or to Y254. Yes, I hope the caption is not on your screen though. Exactly. <laughs> yes, no. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, let's see who will be on top. Who will Get finish this, right. this quiz with a bang? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have two answers keyed in so far with 37 seconds and counting down mm -hmm. ever so steadily. 30 seconds almost. Mm. There it is. Now we have three answers keyed in so far. Well done. Five. Mm hmm. So, as you can see, mm -hmm. this is a fantastic way of yes, and it's disseminating so fun. Inform information. It's thrilling also. It's yes. a good way to also engage with family, friends and colleagues at work. Exactly. Uh, especially during this, the, the time of recession period, we have our kids back at home. Yes. It's a way of also educating. Uh, our kids can learn through this. So exactly. Yes. It's, it's an amazing platform. And we have the answer is the code is cjui triple three i don't know answer is two zero one five four is the code uh, right yeah so well done to eight of you getting it correct and let's see the standings the final standings the podium positions we have in third place let's clap for kids well done kid well From done kid awesome stuff we have edu easy awesome yes. stuff edu easy and in first place drum rolls drum for rolls. black, black bird. bird well done blackbird and that is a typical we have fourth in jazz and savior in the top five and that is a typical trivia session do you know like you can actually play this uh the trivia question game like like consistently yes. it's not boring yes it's very entertaining very thrilling you just keeping engaged actually when you're at the edge yeah yes yeah it's a nice platform yes so that is typically what happens in quiz masters mm -hmm. and anyone mm -hmm. who would like to get into this industry okay. can be able to and it's very simple mm -hmm. all you just need to do is just have that passion for knowledge mm -hmm. be curious mm -hmm. be hardworking. Mm -hmm. yes and love what you do Okay, yeah. all right, David. So let's look at uh, how do you intend to scale up the business? So in terms of scaling up is basically having our own application. We also have our own application mm -hmm. whereby we conduct trivia sessions every week on a Wednesday online. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity of making this big is, again, just focusing on the various demographics that we have just mentioned earlier and giving the opportunity to everyone to learn through trivia mm -hmm. questions yes a right. yeah. couple of challenges you're facing lack of knowledge from participants the fact that uh, trivia can be a entertaining way of um, of um, operating and for entertaining your guests mm -hmm. because people think that when you take part in a trivia session that is an exam and it is far from it as you have uh, yeah, experienced so far, yeah. so it is far exam. from an exam it is all about entertainment mm -hmm. right as well as there's also that element whereby if we take it to schools it can also act as a learning mode a mode of learning for our young ones as they grow older so in this industry the world is our oyster we are able to really touch each and every person mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. every demographic right. yeah what does the future look like for for the uh, for the trivia industry and also the quiz masters the future looks bright especially with the fact that i anticipate more people coming in on board in this industry and being quiz masters because for the industry to grow we need more quiz masters to come in and for them to be serious in what they do mm -hmm. so that many people can be able to also know that this is a viable industry mm -hmm. yes so it is bright for us as quiz masters because we have been there for quite a bit now and i'm looking forward to assisting anyone who would like to come in on board 
and take part in or to learn to be a quiz master mm -hmm. yes we we say that in this world there is no competition mm -hmm. uh, it's all about complementing each other and i think that is the stage we are at right now in this industry we need to have more people coming on board and knowing that this is a viable way of earning an income all right yes okay so as we wind up yeah probably we could uh, you know throw some quick fire questions on me wow uh, please don't be <laughs> <laughs> i'm, I'm be interested so but anyway let's let's do this so perhaps, yeah, but don't be too hard on me so though. perhaps you can just guide me okay which area of knowledge would you like me to ask you from um, um are there give me sections so that i can okay choose so them. we have general knowledge okay general knowledge. we have uh, music okay we have movies we have geography I'll go, I'll go with music music yes. so i will ask you this question <laughs> currently this is now a song that that is in heavy rotation okay mm? okay there's a song called wangu okay mm -hmm. wangu mm -hmm. it has been sung by two female artists who are they? There are no choices. We just will. No, there are no choices in this. <laughs> <laughs> Wango. Yes, is it Wango. gospel? No, it is not gospel. Okay. Yes, but it is a song that has been really Ah yes, yes. You know Nadia Mukami and, and Sunaipe. Well done. Yeah. So you know your music now. Yeah. Well done. I think I, I was expecting like a two hour question, so I'll be like, ah, oh, thinking way quite far. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> so it's quite, actually quite easy to come up with questions. Okay, one mm. more. Let's see. So tell me which other area of knowledge, geography, um, movies, or general knowledge? Let's go with the uh, general knowledge. Okay. I will ask you matters of sports, just because. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and it's a true <laughs> or false <laughs> question. No, true or false question. True, true or uh, false. I don't true or false do. question. True or false. Let's do it. In the history of Formula One, okay? <laughs> Formula One. Hmm? Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton, okay. eh? Lewis Hamilton mm -hmm. is the only black driver uh -huh. to have ever taken part in the Formula One since inception. Is that true or false? Yes, Lewis Hamilton is the only black driver in the history of Formula One, which is 70 years. Out of 774 drivers mm -hmm. across 70 years. Mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton, who is now the current seven-time champion, mm -hmm. is the only black driver to have driven in Formula One. Okay. Is that true or false? Uh, it is uh, true. Well done. Oh. You're correct. Yes. Indeed. Lewis Ukotusawa. <laughs> oh, now we can wrap it up. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, David, how can people find uh, you guys on social media? Okay. So, on social media, we are on all major platforms. We are mm -hmm. on Facebook as Quizmasters, mm -hmm. as a profile and as a page. Mm -hmm. Quizmasters254, mm -hmm. yes, like Y254. Okay. So it is Quizmasters254. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, we are Quizmasters254. Mm -hmm. We are on LinkedIn as Quizmasters. Mm -hmm. And we are also on Instagram as at Quizmasters254. Okay. Please follow us. Yes, guys, please do. So David, as we close, uh, close this particular interview. Yes. So let's assume we are meeting for the first time. If you were to introduce yourself, so what would you say your industry is at? So David Gray, what do you do? I'm David Gray and I'm a quiz master. All right. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you very much, David, for creating thank time you, to Michelle. be with us. Thank so you. guys, that is David Gray, quick mas uh, quiz master. So make sure you don't touch that dial. We'll be right back uh, signing off. So we'll be right back to sign off. So make sure you stay tuned right here on Why in the Morning Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media handles.